the intercontinental is the best of the the best of the best the 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 like it's a fine brass. But our people are so destroyed, they actually think that this is normal. This is not normal. You know, it's not normal to be out here with trash all over the place. You got bullet holes at the bus stop. You got people passed out, either drunk or on drugs. This is not normal. This is a bad condition. So why do we live like this? The brother's going to show you. Just give him a few minutes. Show him why we curse so he can understand the importance of knowing who you are. And more importantly, what we can do to lift these curses. Because that's what he's teaching. Celebrate Christmas and Easter. Where's that in the Bible? Where's that? It's not in the Bible. So, go ahead. Which ye have not accepted, ye might bear well with him. Okay, so now go to uh, Matthew 24 and 5. Because not only did Paul warn us about that, but Christ himself warned us. Because they understood what was going to happen later on. That we were going to get tricked by these demonic doctrines. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 24 and verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Like this person right here. This is a real man named Caesar Borgia. He was a real man. This is not, nowhere in the Bible will you find an image like that, except for Esau. Go ahead. And shall deceive many. That's why many people keep Christmas. Many people keep Easter. Many people go to church on Sunday. But what? Mother's Day. That's another false pagan holiday. But we do these things because what? We learned that in slavery. They taught us that Christ was white. Go to church on Sunday. Keep Christmas. Keep uh, all of these pagan days that we've been just keeping. But nobody's ever read that. Yeah, so, so brother, you understand what we're saying? You understand You understand this? So what do, you, what do we got to do? We're, now that we know that this is a false Christ, do we continue to follow that? Or do we start learning what the real Christ did and follow him? Follow the real Christ. That's right. That's what yes. we out here doing. So yes. let's see what the real Christ did. Yes. Let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's go to uh Damn it. let's find the law. Go ahead and get that. You can go ahead and get that right there. Go ahead and get that. This is the book of Luke, chapter 4 and verse 16. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. So Christ kept the Sabbath. You understand that? When yes. is the Sabbath? The seventh day? Oh, the, the seventh Sabbath. day, yeah. So when does the Sabbath start? Sunday. No. What, Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Sundown, actually Friday night, sundown. To sundown Saturday night is the Sabbath. Get Mark 4 and 15 again. Because these devils is like popping up. Oh, yeah, that's strong. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4 and verse 15. And these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. The word is being sown. But when they have heard... Satan coming immediately. Two demons just jump out of the woodworks out of nowhere, just appear. Go ahead. And take it away the word that was sown in their hearts. That's the whole purpose of it. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 28, because this is a prophecy. This is what we got to deal with. This is the book of Deuteronomy. This is a prophecy about the Israelites. Chapter 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Because our people don't want to keep the commandments. They want to go on drugs. They want to do all these things, and then they end up like this. This is the condition that they be in. Because we don't want to keep 
God's commandments. Yeah, they ain't got a deal. Look, they just, just, this is, this is heaven. They in heaven right now. So now let's go back to uh, what I was going to have the brother show you, that we're an Israelite according to the Bible. That's why we got to know who we are, because we think that Christ died for everybody. Did Christ die for everybody? I'm going to ask you, brother, did he die for everybody? Who did he die for? He died for us, the Israelites. So what about the other people? What about the other people? What about the other people? What's going to happen with them? You want to answer that? Well, let, let's let God answer. First, let's go to the kingdom of heaven. Let's go there. Does, let me ask you this. Does God hate or does he love everybody? He does? Okay, let's get that first. Go to Romans 9 and 13. So they say God loves everybody. Let God be true and every man alive. Let's see. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written. Meaning it's written before. Jacob have I loved. So Jacob is the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. But Esau, the white man, have I hated. God hates the e the Edomites. That's that's who Esau is. His he's uh, the forefather of the Edomites, the whole white race. Let's get that right now. Go to uh, Genesis twenty five and twenty five. Let's get it out of the Bible. So you ain't got to believe me. Let's get it out of the Bible. Let's get it out of the Bible. Go ahead. This is the book of Genesis. Read up to 23. 23. Chapter 25 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. So the Lord said to Rebekah, Two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people. Two different kind of people. Go ahead. Shall be separated from thy bowels. Go ahead. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Who dominates in sports? Is it us or is it the white man? Who dominates in everything? Go ahead. And the elder shall serve the younger. Go ahead. And they, and they, and when her days were to be delivered, were fulfilled. Behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red, all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So he came out red and hairy. Who's who don't have melanin in their skin? So when they're born, their blood's gonna show through their skin. Who's that talking about? Exactly. Exactly. So now go back to Romans 9 to 13. Go back to Romans 9 to 13 because I don't want you to forget this because we've been taught God loves everybody. Yes. Celebrate Christmas and Easter, but let's see what God says. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So what's that saying, sis? Who does God hate? And who's Esau's the forefather of? Huh? I ain't say what the Bible say Esau's the forefather of. I'm asking you, who's their forefather? Who's Esau's the forefather of who? The, who are the people today? The white people. That's their forefather. So your forefather is Jacob. You understand that? Their forefather is Esau. You got that? So now, go ahead and get Malachi. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 2. Go to uh, 1, read 1. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord unto Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau. Go ahead. And laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So their mountain and heritage got laid waste during the dark ages. Where they lived in the caves. And we ruled. That's why they called it the dark ages. Go ahead. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. They did that during the Renaissance era in 1453. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build. But I will throw down. It was already prophesied that they were going to build America. But God said Christ is going to come back and he's going to throw this kingdom down. When Christ comes back, he's not going to the U.N. to negotiate with Donald Trump. He's going to tear this kingdom down. Go ahead. And they shall call them. And they shall call the Edomites. The border of wickedness. And the people 
against whom the Lord has indignation forever. That's why they're known as the Board of Wickedness. Everywhere they go, they bring death and destruction. They claim they bring a democracy overseas, and it's desolate over there when they leave. They take all the resources, install their uh, leaders. But the whole purpose of saying that is that you have to know who you are. You got to know who they are, because you don't know who you right. are. You don't know who your enemy is. So you're thinking the same people giving you uh, welfare checks, Section 8 checks, they're your friends. They're not your friends. If I came over here with a hammer and broke your leg and then gave you a cask and a cane, am I your friend? No. No, that's what they done. That's what you got to understand. Down and fix you up. <laughs> so now, knowing you're an Israelite, sis, go ahead and get Deuteronomy 10 and 12 for the sister. This is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord. We got to keep God's commandments. One of his commandments is the Sabbath. That's why we are here today. You understand that? We're not supposed to buy or sell on the Sabbath. We're not supposed to be working. We're supposed to, like for your food, you're supposed to have your food prepared last night for the day so you can eat a sandwich or whatever you want to eat. You're supposed to be resting. You know what else you're supposed to do? convocate. We're supposed to be gathering together. You're supposed to be in church today. That's a commandment. But we're going to church on Sunday. Who told us to go to church on Sundays? Is that God or man? That's man. So are we going to obey God or man, sis? All right. That's what I want to hear. All right, sis. We appreciate you stopping through. We appreciate you. How you doing, brother? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.